Most homesteaders have a drill and they can figure out how to put two bits of wood together. A couple of screws, you know. But welding is a less common skill, but it's one that can be a game changer for building stuff oh, on your homestead. Can it? I have a Corey, a Mr. <laughs> RP, that has been a long time welder, so I haven't needed to learn. No expert. Remember that. <laughs> but you recently got like a small little welder that you reckon is super easy to use. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that claim to the test and Corey's going to try to teach me how to do some basic welding. With patience. With a lot of patience. <laughs> We got this little welder, Unimig Viper 135 amp welder. I bought this because, as you can see in the background here, my big welder, it's just a little bit too awkward to take around to do these little odds and sods jobs. It's nice and light, you can easily just put the strap on your shoulder and carry it around. And I tell you what, we should have bought this a long time ago for here because certain projects around here that we did out of wood in the past would have been a lot easier to do out of steel with this. Now I bought this just as the welder only. It cost us $325. You can buy it in a kit for approximately an extra $100. And that comes with some gloves, a helmet, I think a little wire brush, um, and a few little like odds and ends to help you out. So it's like a one stop like kit box. I think it's about four, low 400s. For the kit. For the All kit. All right, so you mentioned uh, glove and helmet. Yes. So safety. Oh, oh for you, yes. <laughs> safety. Hey. Safety for the wife. <laughs> okay, now when you're welding, right, there will there'll come a time in your life <laughs> when a bit of spatter or hot sparks will hit your delicate skin and you may squeal. <laughs> Okay, so just be prepared for that moment, okay? You... That's what I hear coming from the shed <laughs> so often. Now, I normally just weld with a, a left glove, a lefty. Oh, can I have the blue one? Or are they, are they different sizes? Oh, one's right. Oh, one's right, okay. Because I got you a righty, all right? And I don't wear a glove on the trigger finger, okay? I only wear a glove on this hand. Why have I got a righty? Because I don't want you to burn your hands. Oh, so I'm going to be wearing both gloves. Both gloves. Okay. We'll see how you go right. with with the with the right one. Right. All right. Well, how about, how bit... about my? Should I be wearing a long sleeve shirt? Oh, that's probably a very good idea. Yes, you should wear a long sleeve okay. shirt, and you probably should tie your hair up. Okay. Yeah. Because hair like sizzles. Idea. Oh, that smell. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so tie your bun up. Yep. In, in the back. Yep. Put a long sleeve shirt on. You yep. got long pants on, no holes in them. Because <laughs> no if you holes. Have, if no you, holes, not bare feet. Because if you have a hole in your Covered jeans, shoes. right, guaranteed, that, that's, where the, that, that's where the spark <laughs> will go down. All right, here. All right. Well, I need to... I need oh, to have all you, right, you go, hold that. All right, long sleeves, hair up, and come back. Lovely. Styling. Styling, man, styling. Right, that should be good. So, we're just going to load up the wire into the machine. First thing is, we have a roll of wire. This is gasless white welding wire. Uh, this is just a 0.8 wire and it's 0.9 of a kilo. They're just like mini rolls and you get them in, um, you know, mild steel, stainless steel, aluminium, whatever you want to do in these size rolls. Now, when you open it, it'll be covered in plastic and a bit of paper out of the box. That just keeps it dry. Got to grab this bit and unfeed it through the little hole. But at the same time, you've got to hold it here because if you just poke it out, it'll just unravel and make a bit of a mess. So we just kind of hold it with our finger and we just get a little bit coming out and we'll just cut it off nice and square like that. I'll just give the end a little bit just so there's not too many sharp edges on it. Okay, don't let it go. And we come to the machine, we flip the lid. Basically, this is a little half turn circle. You push down and turn and it comes off like this okay the wire goes in through this hole here and it will come through here past the roller now just make sure that you've got the correct roller in here because some rollers see how they've got grooves in it so the wire actually runs in the groove and that's what feeds it through the machine and say it's got 0.8 mil on one side and 0.9 mil on the other 
So just make sure you've got the correct way up. Okay, so put this, keep holding this tight, put this on there, and just make sure that you put this back on. So that's on, and now the wire will just come through here, and we're gonna try and get it in this little hole over here. It is a little bit fiddly with big fingers. Okay, we're done, we're in. Grab our little washer and put that on there with our little retaining clip like that. Now this here, see so this little ball bearing here? This runs against the wire and puts pressure onto the actual roller that I showed you previously. So we just bring this in and this here turns because this is like a tensioner, right? So we bring that in, give it a little bit of tension. Now we're ready to go. Okay, now the nozzle will come like this. This is like the gas shield. So when you're using gas, uh, the gas comes out of this end and it makes a little gas cloud around your weld. Now we don't really need that because we're going gasless. So what I do, pull that nozzle off and I also recommend unwinding this little spring because when you're welding, a bit of spatter will stick to that spring and it will make it hard to get this cap nozzle back on. So this is brass, spatter doesn't stick to that, and this is copper, and nothing sticks to that either. Turn the machine on. So we want to set this little arrow on the left for MIG, which is the top one, because we're using the MIG function. And we want to set the wire thickness to either 0 0.9, 0 0.8, or 0 0.6. Now we're using 0.8, so we just go to 0 0.8. And this is basically your, your power. So if you're welding thin, thinner material, you'll have it turned down. And if you're welding thicker material, you'll have it turned up. Now I can't really tell you what, where to have this in relation to whether you're welding say 1.2 mil or three mil. It's just a matter of experimenting because it could be there, you know, it could be just there. It's a bit, you just got to fine tune it as you go. So you pull this just as straight as you can, right? So the wire has like, uh, least path of resistance to feed through as opposed to trying to feed it through when it's like this and we just unscrew the little tip on the end and now we'll pull the trigger and it will take a oh, 30 seconds or something and don't put your hand over it because the wire will come out and you don't want it to poke your poke your finger don't ask me how i know and it's out put the tip on and screw it in like so, and I'll just get the pliers and just give it a little, a little tweak. Don't do it up too tight, just basically probably just a little bit harder than finger tight, I would say. Now as you can see, when I pull the trigger, the wire comes out. Very simple. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to put the earth lead in. Now because we're going gasless, you need to reverse a polarity. So normally the earth goes in the negative hole in the machine. But because we're going gasless, we need to put the earth in the positive and make the handpiece the negative. So on the front here, we have two, these two holes. So we put the machine here into the negative hole and we put the earth into the positive hole and we're ready to go. Now, as I said, if you were going to use gas, you would have them the other way around. So now all we need to do is find a bit of steel and a willing participant will try and get something welded together. Gasless wire leaves slag. A little saying is, if there's slag, you drag. Now, you may have heard that at like a BNS ball or something, but so basically, we would drag as we're welding. We'd drag it like that. If you're going to use gas, uh, you normally push, push forward. A 45 degree angle between the two surfaces, that way, and then lean it back a bit, 20, 30 degrees back. And that's probably a good distance from the work between the copper tip on the welder, on the machine here, handpiece, and the actual steel. We're just gonna teach Amanda, and we're gonna do some little circles, about three to four mil in diameter, and we're gonna work our way back, okay? So start from there, little circles, and work your way back. That's how we're doing it today. Now there's a gazillion methods and techniques on how to weld. We're not covering any of them today. We're just getting Mrs. RP to join two bits of steel together with that.
Right. Okay, so I think we've covered most stuff. You've got your sleeves, we've got some gloves here. Right, gloves to go. That's a righty, this is a lefty. Uh, and, and I'm wearing both of them. You're wearing, uh, well. It might be a bit difficult just, to. Just, yeah, just try the trigger because I find it difficult with a glove on. Yeah. Okay, just put the green one on. Right. Just do the lefty. Okay. Now we have a. Um, this is where safety starts to get compromised, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. So basically to start with, uh, just in this scenario here, yeah. what we'll do is we'll just do a little a little zzz on the end, yeah. like, a, like a little tack. Yeah. Right? So just hold and it in, in, oh, in the one position and do maybe two seconds to three seconds. Yep. And that will just give it like a little tack well to hold tack it. Well. And then put one at the back here mm -hmm. on this side. Yep. Same thing. And that'll hold the pieces together and then once that's I can kind of remove my hand a bit yep because that will be uh that bit will stay there on its own then okay and all right then... explain the helmet to me okay it's an automatic dark auto darkening helmet yep right it auto darkens when it sees a flash and it happens very quickly so you don't have to worry about like shutting your like eyes, shutting your eyes okay. when it happens. as soon as it you hold up to the sun and it goes out it goes yep. black. Right. Uh, it does all have adjustments in there for sensitivity and darkness and whatnot Maybe I need my own helmet at some point <laughs> if I'm going to do more welding. Uh, so I like to test the helmet first. So I just hold it up like this, yeah. right? And I turn it on. And when you turn it on, you'll see the screen will flash black. Nice. Okay, and it's just got an adjustment on the back here that you just wind in or loosen to suit your smaller head than mine. All right, okay. should we fit it on me then? Yes, we should. Right. So we put it on. You look good. Yeah. And then just pull it down. It's my flash dance moment. Now, can you see out of it? Yeah. Because I even put new lenses in it for you. Ah, nice. Hey, so you can actually see. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't know if I'm more nervous than... Am I more nervous than you? <laughs> Hopefully not. If you've done your instruction right, then it should be well, fine. That's what I'm worried about. Pull the trigger and away you go. Attack. Just like that. And do another one out the front there. Maybe a bit longer, like another second, so. Now you're basically just going to start from that last tack you did. On the 45 degree, back a little bit. And drag it back this way. Doing keeping little the, circles. Doing little circles and keeping the tip about 5 millimetres off the steel. Look at that! Hey? <laughs> Tell you what, first time. Is it is it good enough to show the people on the camera? Well, we will, we will. But tell us your what what you saw, how you felt. It was hard to see, like the puddle you were talking about. But yeah. You could kind of see like a little bit of a ring around it. Yeah. I wasn't sure if my speed was okay i didn't feel like my speed was super steady yeah but i mean it's yeah like i think it's okay okay so just grab this now put some safety glasses on because we are all about safety we here safe. about rock pile all right oh. so because right. if you the, the slag it, it's hot Yep. Still, it may you don't want the hot stuff to flick in okay. your eyes. So just give it a little uh, a little chip with the just the end, just a little tap tapity tap tap, right? Tap, tap. And you'll see tap, the tap, maybe tap. a bit harder. Yep, good. And give it a good brushing. Yeah. Yep. Now we're ready. So we'll just turn this to the light a little bit. For a first attempt, I'd be I'd be happy with that. That's like strong as. All right, so now we'll try it again. You've joined it together. I have. If the gate was broken, you could fix the gate. You know? I so could. it's just about practice. I've seen worse welds on, on Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll give it a wire brush. So that was much better. What was it? Yeah. How is it better? So this is the third weld that we did. 
So it's a little bit more consistent with this with the travel speed. It looks a lot neater than uh, this is the second one that that we did. So you can see the first bit looks good across here, and then we kind of put the puddle up to the top, and there's not really a gap, not really weld down the bottom here. But this one that looks good. Let's see if we can replicate that on uh, on this other side here. Oh, baby! Here's the thing. In my pocket. Any glasses? So can you see the visual difference between, say, this one here oh, sorry. That's all right, and the other one? See how this one looks a lot more like even. Tra travel speed was even? Yep. Right? And the, the fact that you've got, say, even amount on this bit and the base bit. Yep. And you can see in here, maybe the travel speed went a bit too fast in the, set, in the middle. Because see how it kind of like hollows out a little bit? I found it was... Um like for that one, yep. I kind of had like a little bit of a timing chant in my head. So oh, I don't know lovely. if you do that. But this one I was kind of like, the, the circles, like one yep. and two and one and two and one and two. Yeah, well, okay. Beautiful. If that's how, if that's what you need. And it's more even. It looks, more even. It, it looks fantastic. Lovely. It's not going to go anywhere. That's bulletproof. Mission successful. Mission successful. That's great. I feel very accomplished. Good. Thank you. Lovely. Pretty happy with that. Was that the third one you did? What do we got? One, no, the fourth one. The fourth one. Yep. Yep. The fourth one you did was uh, the fourth one. Really good. I'd, I'd, I'd almost let you weld our carport together like that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Learn something new. Learn something new. And give it a go. Grab some steel. Grab the little machine. Give it a crack. I'll uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye. You ready for this? You'll be able to handle teaching me with patience. With what? Patience, your middle name, right? <laughs> so that's already.